Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the DC load line analysis of BJT that is bipolar junction transistor. Now let's see what is DC load line analysis. The DC load line of BJT circuit is a straight line drawn on the transistor output characteristics. This line is used to find the operating point and the stability of the bipolar junction transistor. Okay, this is the first of all, it is a line. This is used to uh, find whether uh, it is uh, in the stable region or not. And to find the operating region, we will use this DC load line. Okay, now by taking one common emitter configuration, we will get the operating point. Okay, and this uh, we will get two points, but uh, these two points we will indicate in the output characteristics and we will draw one line. That line is called as a DC load line. Now, let's see the procedure. <coughs> Here, the voltage between base, this is the common emitter configuration circuit. So, here the voltage between base and emitter is VBE. And it is the voltage between collector emit emitter is VCE. Now, in this emitter is connected to ground. That's why it is called as a common emitter, con common emitter configuration. Now, let's see the parameters are parameters in the circuit. <coughs> Here, RB is called as a base resistance. This is a base resistance. The resistor is connected to the base. And RC is called as a collector resistance. And IB is a current passing through the base. And the IC is the current passing through the collector and the VBE, the voltage between base and emitter. And the VCE, this is the voltage between the collector to the emitter. Next, if you see the VBB, this is called as a this is a biasing voltage and VCC is the collector biasing voltage. These two VBB and VCC are the biasing voltages. Biasing means giving external supply to the any electronic device is called as a biasing. Okay, this is about the circuit and the parameters of the circuit. Okay, now let's apply the cable at the output side. By using the output equation, we have to find the IC that is the output current and the output voltage VC points. After getting that points, we have to indicate that points in the output characteristics of the transistor. Okay, now let's see the procedure here. This is VBE. And it is VCE. Apply KVL at the output side. Here we are taking the NPN transistor. In NPN transistor, emitter current direction is outside. And the base and the collector currents are the inside. If you see the output loop here, output current is in anti-clockwise direction, that is IC. IC is in anti-clockwise direction, so apply KVL in the anti-clockwise direction here. So assume that it is a plus and it is a minus. The current is coming from plus to minus, that is minus VCE. Minus VCE and it is a plus and a minus and minus to plus. plus VCC is equal to that is the voltage drop is IC into RC. It is equation number one, assume. Now we have to find IC as well as VCE. The first step is to find to find IC to find IC, put VCE is equal to 0. This is the first step. To find IC, make it VCE is equal to 0. If you substitute that, here we will get VCC is equal to IC into RC we will get. From this, IC is equal to VCC divided by RC. Okay, this is the IC value. Okay, in this VCE, that is a X coordinate is equal to 0. 
and the y coordinate is vcc by rc okay 0 comma vcc by rc this is the one point next <coughs> to find to find vce to find vce put ic is equal to 0 now we are taking ic is by taking ic is equal to 0 uh, this is from equation 1 here this is from equation 1 this is also from equation 1 from equation 1 here now put ic is equal to 0 if we put ic is equal to 0 we will get minus vce plus vcc is equal to 0 so from this we will get vce is equal to minus vcc so as we are taking the npn transistor we are getting minus vcc if you take pnp transistor the sign will be different and this point will be VCE is VCC and IC is equal to 0. That's why VCC comma 0 is a 1 point. So we are getting the 2 points here. So these 2 points we have to indicate on the output characteristics of the bipolar junction transistor common emitter configuration. <clears throat> now let's indicate these 2 points. We got 0 comma VCC by RC is a 1 point and VCC comma 0 is a 1 more point. If you see the uh, characteristics here, uh, these are the output characteristics of the common emitter configuration. The output characteristics are drawn between output current and the output voltage VCE and the input current IB is constant. Here it is IB is equal to 0 and next take IB is equal to approximately it is a 10 microamps. It is a 20 microamps. It is a 30 microamps. It is 40 microamps and it is 50 microamps and so on. Okay, this is about the uh, output characteristics, output voltage and the output, output voltage and output current at constant input current. Okay, now if you see the points here, this point is 0 comma VCC by RC. On X axis, we have the 0 and Y axis, this is VCC by RC this is the uh, we will get the point here okay so this point indicates 0 comma vcc by rc and next one more point that is vcc comma 0 here y is equal to 0 that's why vcc comma 0 this is a one more point okay if you join these two points we will get one line the intersection of the two points is called as the dc load line the line which is touching the output characteristics is called as DC load line. Okay, this is called as a DC load line. So now, if you see the uh, definition here, the, inter uh, the intersection of the output characteristics and the DC load line is called as operating point. See here, here this output characteristics and the DC load line is touching here. This is called as operating point. It is also operating point. This is also operating point. This this point is operating point, and this is also operating point. These lines are touching the output characteristics. Okay, that's why this uh, these points are called as the operating points. Okay, this DC load line we are getting the by connecting the zero comma VCC by RC and VCC comma zero. If we if we join these two points, we will get one line. That line is called as DC load line and the DC load line is touching the output characteristics that points are called as a operating points. Okay, operating point is VCE comma IC. VCE is on X axis that is VC output voltage and the output current is IC. The operating point is VCE comma IC. So, in the this is about the DC load line. So, what is the use of the DC load line? By using this DC load line, whether the transistor is in stable region or not, that we will uh, say by using this DC load line. This is called as a Q point or operating point. 
in the active region always the transistor should operate at the middle of the active region okay whether it is operating at the middle or not by using the stability factor we can say okay in the next class we will discuss about the stability factor okay this is about the dc load line these are the operating points the dc load line how we are getting this dc load line by connecting these two points and the, the line which is touching the output characteristics is called as an operating point this we can also call it as a q point okay in the next class we will discuss about the stability factor of the uh, transistor <clears throat> okay whether the transistor is operating at the middle of the operating region or not and what is the need to operate at the middle that we will discuss in the next class